Hey there guys, it's Amit and welcome back to Dev Dreamer. So guys, in this lesson then, we're going to be taking a look at HTML5 semantics. So with the introduction of HTML5, we actually had some new elements, some new document structure elements. And in this lesson, we're going to be going over them in detail. We're also going to be building a small basic website to actually show you how you can use these. So let's begin. So here then we have the different elements. We have a header element, a nav element, main element, section, article, a side, and footer. Let's go through these in detail. Let's start with the header tag. So, the header tag is basically used to define a header for a document or a section. So, most websites you go to normally have a set of navigation links at the top and maybe the company logo in there as well. And this is what the header element will be used for. Now, you can also use the header element to actually wrap our headings. So, for example, we looked at H1, H2s and H3s in a previous lesson. You can use the header element here to wrap those. And this basically lets the browser know that we want to define this as a header. So, in here then, Let's actually put some links and this leads me nicely on to the next element, which is the nav element. The nav is short for navigation and the nav element is used on our page to store the main navigation links for our website. Now it's important to note here, the nav element is not used just to place any old link that we have on our page in, it's used for the main navigation links of our page. So in here, let's cut that and let's paste this in here. Okay, and then inside here then, we can specify our links. So we'll do a tag and in here we'll do, let's say four. Let's just fill these in. And let's say we want a home page. Let's say we want a about page. Let's say, I don't know, gallery. And finally, contact. Okay, and here in our browser, you can see we have home, about, gallery, and contact. And we specified these by using our nav element. And we put that inside our header element. Okay, we'll look at an example of using the header element to wrap our h1, h2 tags in just a second. So that's the header and nav element. Now then, let's take a look at the main element here. Main basically defines and specifies the main content of our document. So in here then, we can actually place other elements that build up the main content of our web page. So in here, let's actually use this header tag again, and we can say h1, and we're gonna say gaming, Legends, okay, we're gonna do a small website about gaming character legends. Um, and then here we can say, after this, we can use our section tag, which is the next one we're gonna look at. So, what is the section tag? Let's go to this. What is the section tag? The section tag basically specifies and defines a section in a document. So whilst the main tag specifies the main content of our web page, the section element defines blocks of sections in our web page. So for example, here we can say that we want this section to be about Super Mario. Okay, um, and let's copy this. Let's do another section, another section. And we want this section to be about Sonic the Hedgehog. And of course guys, Obviously you want to wrap these in uh, paragraph tags or something else. I'm just typing these in here just to specify what each section is for. So we have Super Mario, Sonic the Hedgehog, and let's go for Donkey Kong. Okay, so we have a main element here, and inside that we have three different sections, okay? One about Super Mario, one about Sonic, and one about Donkey Kong. So now let's start building these sections up. We can use the article element here to specify well, an article or a block of text. This is actually perfect for things such as blog posts. So let's just use this in our website here. So let's copy this and let's place it in here. Okay, we can get rid of this now because we know this is going to be the Super Mario section. And inside here then, we can use our header tag again. And this time let's specify a H2 element and we're going to say Super Mario. Okay, so we have here Super Mario. Let's do the same thing for the other sections. So let's just copy this here and paste it in here and here as well. And then let's just change this to different characters. So we've got Sign of the Hedgehog, just side not Sign of the Hedgehog 2 on the Sega Mega Drive is actually my favorite game of all time. Let's do Donkey Kong. Okay, so now we have three sections. We have Super Mario, Sonic the Hedgehog, and Donkey Kong. Let's continue to build up our sections then by putting some more information in the article elements. So in here, let's say, uh, let's put an image in. Okay, and um, we'll do 
images and we want the Mario image. And there he is. And let's just copy this for the alt attribute here. And of course, we've looked at all this in previous lessons. Okay. Um, if you haven't seen those, then, then you know, please feel free to go back and, and watch them. And then let's just put some text in here. And just say Super Mario. And then I'm just going to put some lorem ipsum and text in here like so. Okay, so we've built out our first section. We have a title here, which we've wrapped in our header element here. And um, we've just got an image and then some text, okay? And all this is wrapped in an article element here. And then that's wrapped in a section element. So this is all one section, okay? So let's continue to build out our other sections. So at this point, it would just be easier to copy this now. Let's copy and we can just paste this in for our Sonic section and the Donkey Kong section as well. Okay, so let's just fill this out. So we've got Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's copy this and put it in here and change this here as well. And of course, change the image. Okay, and let's do the same for Donkey Kong. So let's copy this. Change the alt attribute. This down here and of course the image. Like so, there we have Donkey Kong. So then we've used these HTML5 elements to build up our page. So let's take a look at them again, let's just quickly go back. So we did our header, which is used to define a header for a document or a section. And inside that we had our nav element here, which we put our links in. Then we had our main element here, okay? And inside that we had a title, and then we had these section elements here. We had one, two, and three, okay? And then we used the article element to define a small article or block of text. And in there we had just a basic image and some text. Okay. So now let's take a look at the next HTML5 element, which is the assign tag. The assign tag is basically used to store information on our page that isn't necessarily tied into the main content, but it's just some additional information. Okay. And so here we can say header, let's do a H4 and I'm just going to say additional content. And then down here, let's just do paragraph and do some normal ipsum text again. Okay. And this section is normally used as a sidebar on our web page where you can place perhaps a contact form or some ads, but it doesn't need to be used as that. You can actually just use it within the main flow of the page, such as this here. Okay. And then finally, we have the footer element. And this, of course, is used to define a footer for a document or a section. So we could have our main footer here and we could say um, in here, let's just do paragraph element and let's just say footer this is the footer section and here we can just say footer content one and Let's copy this down for the content two. Okay. And as you can see in our browser, we have this footer section here. It doesn't look like much of a footer at the moment because we haven't applied any CSS styling to it. But this is how you would define a footer for a page using the footer element. Now, as I mentioned, you can use the footer element to define a footer for a section or article. So over here, we could do, uh, over here, we can say footer. Okay. And then here you can say, Let's just say by dev dreamer or something. Okay, so you can actually use it in articles as well. Okay, let's just get rid of this for now though. So that's it then, guys. We've looked at the HTML5 elements. Let's just go over them again. We had the header element, the nav element, the main section, article. We had the uh, side element, and finally the footer element. And we use that to build out this basic page. Now, of course, it doesn't look very great. I mean, it looks okay with the images in there as well, but we can actually use CSS styling to make this look a lot better. So I'm actually going to go to our CSS page here, which is style.css. And here then, let's just define some styles for our page. So first then, let's target the H1, H2, H3. I think we used H4 as well. I'm not too sure. Let's put it in there for now. The paragraph elements and the nav elements. And let's say for those, we want to give them a font family of Arial 
um, and a font weight of 400. Let's also style this H1 here, this main sort of title we had. Um, so let's come down here, let's choose H1. And let's say we want to give this a text align of center, so we can put it in the middle. And let's change the color of this to, let's go for orange red. Okay. Let's also define a width for all these images. We want them all to be the same. At the moment, you can see the Mario image is bigger than, than the other two here. So here, let's do IMG, which is for image, curly braces. And let's do width. Let's go for 200 pixels. Okay, looks a lot better. Um, let's also style the section elements. Um, and I'll, I'll also style this aside element here as well. So just do comma, aside. And for those, I'm going to say, let's give them all a border of one. I just got two, let's say two pixels, solid. And we just got dark gray. Okay. And let's give a padding here of 5%. Again, don't worry if you don't know what we're talking about at the moment. Um, we will be doing a full CSS tutorial. And finally, let's style the footer tag. So we'll just say footer, okay. And we want this to be, let's give it a background of this off black color. Let's change the color of the text to white. Um, let's also give it text align center as well. And let's just give it a padding of three pixels. Okay. I'm also going to specify a margin here on our section and the side, because at the moment you can see that they're all packed tightly next to each other. We don't really want that. Let's put some spacing there by doing margin, bottom, and I'll just say 10 pixels. Okay, now we've got some space there. Okay, so this looks a lot better. As you can see, it starts to look more like a website. Obviously, we haven't actually styled this at the moment, but you get the basic idea. We've used the new HTML5 elements to build up our page. Okay, so let's take a look at our HTML page again. So we had all these tags here and we use them to build up this basic page. We then used our CSS styling to make it look a lot better. And guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this lesson. Before we go though, let's just take a look at a quick diagram to show you how these elements work together. So we had our header element. Okay, so this could be used to define the top header section here of a web page. And then inside that we had our nav element, which contains the main links for our website. Okay, we had the main element, which was used to control or show the main content of the page. We also had this aside element, and in our example, we put the aside element at the bottom of our main content. But remember I said that you can actually use it to actually store information in a sidebar like this. Okay, we had the footer element as well. And we also had the section elements. Okay, which were used to define a section or a part of a web page. Okay, so you can have a section here and here, and then you can also have one in the aside section as well, or the aside element rather. And then we also took a look at the article elements as well. And again, you can use the header element to define headings as well. I hope you found that useful. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.